we've been talking a lot about the Brown Harris Stevens brand, right? It stands for something. One of the things that it stood for was Christie's yeah. in New York. So last week, or was it last week? It was last uh, week. After a 30 year relationship, Christie's pulled the plug on the relationship with Brown Harris Stevens and decided to form their own firm. Yeah. You know, we've had the affiliation with Christie's mm -hmm. uh, since 1995, uh -huh. and you know, Hall spearheaded that, and it was—it really was a marketing tool for mm -hmm. us. And we, you know, they were a great source of, you know, when you would go on a listing presentation, you would say, "Hi, I'm with Brown Harris. Uh -huh. um, I have the Christie's affiliation," and that signifies to people luxury, mm -hmm. you know, and it was helpful to us. Mm -hmm. um, is that in New York or globally? When you globally, uh -huh. because of you know, Christie's is you know a, a, an art auction house, uh -huh. and p people recognize it everywhere. Mm -hmm. We were re in the process of renewing our contract with at them. a higher at a higher rate. It, it, yeah, mm -hmm. it was a, it was much higher, but we were working it out because we felt it was important, and we wanted to keep the affiliation. Mm -hmm. You know, Hall had always said that he thought they were going to open up their own brokerage. Um, but they would deny it, deny it, deny it. They said they weren't going to compete. In yeah, New York they said with they the wouldn't do that. Right. So, and they always denied it. Uh -huh. So, but we were always a little bit skeptical. So we were really um, surprised when Friday, you know, they called the owners, uh, the CEO did, called the owners and said, "Hey, we're opening up our own brokerage house in New York City," uh -huh. and at the same time sent out a press release. You know, so I think that was a little underhanded. Uh -huh. You know, you have a relationship with someone for 22 years. I think you owe them a little bit more than that. We were not so surprised that they're opening up, but the, the way, the delivery and how it was handled right. was a real slap in the face to a 22-year relationship. And I think that the CEO handled that really poorly. Uh -huh. And what do you think? In, what What do you think is in store for them? They have that affiliation with luxury yeah. as well. They have the global connections, and they. I think their strategy is: Hey, we sell art to these people. Mm -hmm. We sold a hundred forty million dollar sculpture to Steve Cohen. When Steve Cohen buys a house, right. we're probably going to go, and he's probably going to come to us. I that's the bet. I think that's what they're thinking. Uh -huh. But you know, real estate. You know, to work in New York City, you need to have some knowledge, mm -hmm. and you need to know what you're doing, and you need to understand brokerage. They do not. It doesn't mean that they won't learn or work towards that uh -huh. or try to hire the right person to do it, but it will require an enormous investment to create uh, a real estate brokerage in mm -hmm. New York City, and I wish them good luck, but it's not like you just open up. But a couple of good poachings would do the trick, no? Like you had Compass that came in, and yeah. then they picked up Leonard Steinberg, and then that they kind of went from there. Yeah, but you need a leader, too. Uh -huh. to run. I mean, the brokers also need someone who's going to guide them and offer them support. So you can hire a handful of agents, mm -hmm. but who's leading the charge? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I do, I'm not doubting that they'll be there one day, but it takes right. a lot of money, time, and knowledge, which mm -hmm. they do not have. I mean, they. I'm, I don't know if they have the money, uh -huh. and the time is up to them. Mm -hmm. um, but the knowledge, they have to hire somebody who has it, and then hopefully they'll they can recruit some agents.